Hello guys, and welcome to my Spring Project Use It Up introduction. What a wonderful So this project is all about using up my body care that I have for the spring months of March, April, and May. And then in June, we will start the summer project use it up. If you did miss my winter one just finished and I have it already up, I'll link it up above. So if you're curious about what I finished in the winter time, you can watch that. But I'm going to introduce some new products. I actually am going to start with a brand new kind of scent group. So what I like to do is create like a little scent group with fun products to use up and that just kind of motivates me to use up my collection of body care because I do have a lot and I want to get through a lot of it before um, the summer Bath & Body Works semi-annual sale because I do plan on buying some things then to replenish my collection. So this is really going to set me up for success to finish up what I have now. So let's get started with my first scent combo. So this one is going to be my fruity floral scent combo and it consists of In the Stars and gingham vibrant and a few other fun things. So first I've got three items from In The Stars. I have the moisturizing body wash, the body lotion, and the hand cream. So what motivated this was I actually am using the In The Stars candle right here on my bedside table and I love it so much. So I did purchase In The Stars, I think, last year at some point and I really wanna start using it. So I do have the hand cream, which is already pretty empty so this should be a nice gimme product to get through kind of quickly to motivate me more so that's the first item is the in the stars hand cream next i have my in the stars moisturizing body wash the notes are starflower sandalwood musk sugar tangelo white agarwood and radiant amber and i have not used a moisturizing body wash in quite a few months and i kind of miss it honestly it's just a little bit more luxurious. It's got like a lathery, like a silky lather to it, more so than just regular shower gels. So I kind of miss this texture. The scent is amazing. It smells so good. So I'm really excited to start using it and it is unused, but if I squeeze out the air, it's kind of, I marked it right up here at the top, but yeah, it is unused. I have not used it before. And then same thing with the body lotion. It is completely unused. It's a full size and I marked it right at the top and I'm very excited to start using this one. Now, to go along with it in the shower, I do have Gingham Vibrant, the foaming sugar scrub. I only picked up this one formula of Gingham Vibrant last year when it came out. The notes are wild blackberries, candied violets, and soft vanilla. So I'm not really a big floral person, but I can do it if it's mixed in with like fruity stuff. So I'm curious to try this one. I do really like the foaming scrub formula. I think it's my favorite um, body scrub formula from Bath & Body Works. So I'm excited to try it and it is also unused. If I squeeze most of the air out, it is right about here. So I did go ahead and mark it with a Sharpie. And then lastly, for that scent combo, since we have a little bit of floral and a little bit of fruity, I wanted to bring out Pacifica's Sunrise Moon Perfume. And they did kindly send this to me. This is gifted from Instagram, um, but I'm at no obligation to talk about it. But <laughs> I am excited to try this though because it has peach in it. So it's peach, cardamom, and mandarin. It's actually, like it smells really fun. It smells very vibrant. It's got like that citrusy note with mandarin. So it smells super juicy. I'm really excited. I think this is gonna be perfect for summer, especially when it gets really hot here. Cause if you guys don't know, I live in Houston and it gets, to like a hundred in the summers now. So I'm excited to have something like super fresh and juicy to try out. And I hope that this lasts long too. So I'll let you guys know on that. It is unused, but it the uh, line is like right up at the top. So I'm really excited to try this one. Again, it smells so juicy. So I'm just excited to smell like a peach, you guys. It's gonna be so yummy. Okay, I got the fun one out of the way first because this one's actually just a repeat from my winter project use it up because I'm so close to finishing it and that is my iced sugar plum routine. So yes, this one is like the exact same. So I'm not gonna go over it for that long, but iced sugar plum, the notes are sparkling sugar plum, snowdrop petals, and whipped marshmallow. I have the shower gel, which is right about here. Again, I'll probably finish this in a month, so I'm really excited to have that finished off. And then the fine fragrance mist will probably take me a little bit longer. I am right here. Based on past uh, usage, it'll probably take me two months. That's about how much I use in a month. So I cannot wait to have my first fine fragrance mist of the year used up. And I do really like this scent. 
it does not last long but it is a very nice like sweet fruity berry scent and I really like it so I think it's perfect for um, springtime and then to go along with it I have Twilight Woods in the body lotion and this one is almost finished we're right down here I'm probably gonna also finish this in a month the notes are lush berry sparkling mandarin soft mimosa with a lasting impression of apricot nectar and cypress wood it's really just like a super basic lotiony smell just like a little bit of sweetness going on there nothing crazy um a little bit of like musk i have to say but i really like this scent and it is expiring soon because you can tell it's super liquidy so I do want to get this finished off and I expect it'll be done pretty soon. And now for my last scent combo, I'm deciding to just go with three for now because I do have some items that are pretty close to being done. This one is going to be my vanilla coffee scent. So I do have a lot of items for this one. Starting off with vanilla mocha cream in the shower gel. This is also a carryover from my spring project and it is right about here. So I'm definitely gonna have it finished up pretty soon. It's cozy cappuccino, vanilla orchid and white tonka bean. Just a super simple really yummy really like warm and cozy scent i love this and to go along with it in the shower as you have the tree hut of velvet coffee shea sugar scrub and this one is a few years old actually i think i picked this up at tj maxx they still sell it there but i loved this scent when it originally came out honestly you can't go wrong with any of tree hut's scents but it is super super strong like really like the strongest coffee you've ever smelled in your life but I remember loving this, especially for like morning showers. So I'm really excited to have this one in the shower. So I have my super um, abrasive kind of scrub that I'll probably only use once a week. And then I have my gingham vibrant, which I'll use probably every day or every other day. So, and then for mist, I do have the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Crush 71, which is caramelized vanilla and macadamia. I'm so excited to have this one back out, you guys. It's one of my favorites. It smells like a sugar cookie. It smells so good. And I figured if I'm going to wear this now, like I need to just finish it up because look how much I have left, like barely anything. I can easily finish this off in a month and I expect to. And I really cannot see myself using this in the summertime because these like sticky sweet gourmands in the summer in a hundred degree heat is just not a good combo. So either I use it up now or I have to wait till like late fall to use it. So I'm going to just go ahead and use it up now because I absolutely love it. And it's going to be perfect for my vanilla portion of this routine. And to go along with that after the shower, I do have my Fenty Skin Butter Drop in Vanilla Dream. This is a shimmering whipped oil body cream. So I did get this little mini Fenty Skin Body Cream. In the winter time it came in a set of three with the warm cinnamon and the basic one and this one honestly doesn't smell very strong i'm curious to use it i think i've tried it a couple times because it's not 100 percent full you can see like i've dipped into it but it's like 90 percent full i do remember loving this formula in the warm cinnamon flavor so i'm excited to get back out there with this same formula and I'll keep you guys updated on how the scent lasts. And last item that I have in my vanilla coffee scent routine is the Nest Madagascar Vanilla Perfume Oil. And this is a tiny little mini, it's so small. I think I got this in the Sephora Rewards Bazaar. It is the tiniest thing ever, but it smells so good. And I've heard a ton of people say that this is a wonderful vanilla scent and I'm always down to try a new vanilla. You guys know it's one of my favorite scents. So I'm really excited to see how this lasts. I will say it's very true to that Madagascar vanilla. It's not like a gourmand. I would say it's definitely more like a floral vanilla than it is a vanilla bean. It smells so good though. And I'm curious to see if a perfume oil is gonna last longer than just a basic regular perfume. So really excited to try this one. This is like a fan favorite in the fragrance community. So I'm really happy to have this little mini that I got for free, but that's it for my vanilla routine. And that's it for my three routines for the spring project. Use it up. Like I said, I'm probably going to finish most, not most, but a little bit of these products in the next month in the April update, which I think will have to be like in the middle of the month, since I am uploading this in the middle of March. Um, I'll probably have some empties and I'll introduce some new items. So I'm really excited about that. This is just turning out to be a really fun and exciting spring project. So I hope that you guys are also enjoying your spring body care items. Let me know what scent you are gravitating towards. 
um, in this time of like early spring. I hope you guys are really enjoying the weather and I hope that it's beautiful wherever you are. But thank you guys so, so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.